is how life should feel. That was my new line that I only got to do three times. Eyelash glue. <laughs> Who knew I would miss putting on eyelashes so much? Oh, look, it says Gretchen Meters and my name. Wow, I had just gotten new makeup. Score! Wait, this is my best find so far. Thank you. I love that this video is just turning into me trying food from a year ago. Okay, these are iconic. They're like the cutest little coupe, coupe, coupe glasses? Coupe sounds like toupee, but I, coup. Whatever. Bob, I just found your village hat. Ooh, my LaCroix hat. <gasps> hat game. No offense, village. Okay, that one is hard. Don't eat candy from a year ago, Christina. <laughs> I love that this is here. Ashley gave me this fuzzy vest, which I'm not gonna put on right now because I'm already hot enough wearing this robe. <laughs> this is the cactus that Kate thought was real and we watered for two years. This might be a boring video, but. It's not boring for me. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Christina Elevato. I played Gretchen Wieners in Mean Girls on Broadway. And I'm here to do a kind of chill, maybe crazy, not sure how it's gonna turn out video of me unpacking my dressing room um, from the August Wilson. So long story short, I have spent the last six months traveling the country with my husband via the car. We visited our families in Chicago and Arizona and then we ended up in Los Angeles to spend the winter there, which was so nice and have since turned around, drove all the way back across the country and now here I am back in my apartment in New York. I'm so happy to be back in New York. Oh, I really, really am. So while we were away on this trip, my show closed. Mean Girls closed on Broadway due to the pandemic and everything needed to be taken out of the theater, but I wasn't here. Mm. So thanks to my amazing stage managers at the August Wilson, Holly and Mackenzie, they packed up everything from our little dressing room, the Karen and Gretchen dressing room at the August Wilson. I have not looked at any of this stuff since March 11th of last year, which is insane. I'm a little bit about dressing rooms um, in New York. So when you're in a Broadway show, um, your dressing room sort of becomes like your second apartment. You live half of your life at the theater in your dressing room. So you end up accumulating a lot of stuff between you and your dressing roommates or whatever. So I have a lot of stuff to go through and I thought it'd be fun to go through it together. My amazing stage managers kind of put everything away for me um, to go through because they didn't know what I wanted to keep or what Ashley wanted to keep or Kate or Laura Lee. So they kind of just packed it all up and my sister picked it up at the theater. Thank you, Juliana. And um, drove it to my apartment. So when we arrived home from our trip, um, my entire dressing room was here. So I'm so excited to go through it and to see what treasures lie beneath these bins and boxes. But first, I can't do a Mean Girls video without LaCroix. Black raspberry flavor. I've actually never had this flavor. Hmm, that's pretty good. Um, anyway, so here I am in my robe. I did pull my robe out and I can't wait to go through all this stuff for you guys right now. So, Welcome to my dressing room from the August Wilson, except at my apartment in New York City. Here we go. So um, this bin, oh, this, okay. So I kind of packed up a couple of things when the pandemic hit, cause I didn't know if they were gonna be spraying the dressing rooms or what. So um, this stuff, I mean, they literally packed up everything. These are like shelves. Oh, this is Renee's, ooh. This is a Renee wrap special. This is a very amazing glittery sweater. Renee, I'll give it back to you. I promise I will. I'll give it to you soon. It's so cute. I think that she wore this in like a really epic video or a photo shoot, actually, if I remember correctly. Um, okay, so that's not mine. This is what happens up there too. Like half of this stuff, I don't even know whose is whose. Again, some of it is Ashley, some of it is mine, some of it is Kate, some of it's Laura Lee's, I have no idea. This is all my Gretchen makeup. Oh my gosh, wow. I had just gotten new makeup. So I have a Gretchen lipstick and eyeliner and blush. Oh my God, eyelash glue. <laughs> Who knew I would miss putting on eyelashes so much? But oh, this is all my Gretchen makeup, which I love. I'm very happy to have that. This is what holds our eyelashes at the end of the night. I think Ashley gave this to me or something. Um, they're really cute. Um, they basically like have little spots for your eyelashes. And these were my last Gretchen eyelashes that I wore. <laughs> this sucks. Okay, but I'm doing this, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna do it together. <gasps> my ring box! Because I couldn't wear my ring in the show, obviously. That goes over there. Let's see. Oh, this was like a, I like, you know, would put little phrases on here um, for like when the other Gretchies would go on if I was called out or whatever. So 
that's sweet. Oh my God, this is so crazy. Oh my God, there's so much stuff in here, that's insane. You're like really pretty. Bob got this mug for me um, for my opening night. Oh my God. Yes, my crystals. My friend Michelle got me this crystal for our, my opening night. Oh, it's a little broken. Dang. Oh, it's very broken. Um, I'm very into the crystals and the good vibes in the dressing room. Oh, I'm so happy to have all these crystals back. Okay, these are iconic. These are absolutely iconic. I think Kate and Ashley were given these on opening night. I think by Margie Ann, my dresser. I'd have to, I'll have to double check with them, but they're like the cutest little coupe, 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 coupe glasses, coupe glasses. Coupe sounds like toupee, but I, coup, whatever. These two really cute glasses and we would um, drink a little cheers at the end of the night. A lot of the times these like really fun seltzers. Um, oh, these are so iconic. How many are there? Oh, there's three. We can each have one. Okay, another a mug. K. I I think Kate got me this for my opening. Sunglasses, I don't know whose these are. Because half of it's mine and then you guys know how many people would come to our dressing room. Like we just had so much fun and holding for siren. You guys know how many people would like visit our dressing room and hang out with us. So I feel like half this stuff is like mine and half of this stuff is like who knows whose. But I'm glad I got to cute my robe. This is from the front board that we draw. So, oh cute. Oh look, it says Gretchen Meters and my name. That's so cute. I'm gonna put that right here. I love that. Like honestly, the amount of K mugs that I have because Look, I mean, I have the one from Kate, which is this one. Then I have these two. Here's another one, like K. Okay. We're dealing with Christina, Karen, and Kate. So like, this could be Laura Lee's. I honestly like don't remember. Um, but now I have a lot of K mugs, which are actually really cute. <gasps> Mini Cadbury eggs. We were obsessed with these. You know, um, also I can see already, this is a bunch of M&Ms. I think they say, yeah, Wednesdays we were pink, the plastics, Mean Girls, Karen. This is one of Laura Lee's like opening night gifts, I think from her parents or something. Are M&Ms good a year later? Year and a half later? Year and three months later? Yes. Wait, this is my best find so far. Thank you. And the Cadbury's. So many people would come to our room to um, eat chocolate. These cannot be good, this has been a year. Oh my God, so good. There's gotta be something weird about that. Oh, this, yeah, this is where all my brushes live. <gasps> oh, wow. Makeup jackpot. Oh my gosh. Combs, oh. This sucks, you guys. Wow, I missed the show. This is so weird, because you don't understand, like, I know it's just like stuff, obviously, but like, I would sit at my dressing room table, like, for half of my life throughout this year. So like something like this, even though this looks just like a little carrying case for pens and makeup brushes, like this was you, like I used this every day, getting ready. This was such like a, you know, I don't know. There's something like very sense memory about something like this and some of this makeup stuff because I, we would spend so much time getting ready, especially as the plastics. I would sit at that table and like deal with my makeup and hair for a long time. Um, I love that. And also like, Really love this brush, so I'm excited to have this back. <gasps> my pin curl stuff, oh my God. Wow, wig cap. You know, that last day I did go to the theater of last year before, when the pandemic hit, and I packed things up because I didn't know if they were gonna be cleaning. These two bins right here, I did pack because I wanted to pack away my makeup and my super personal things like pictures and food because I was like, ooh, if they spray some weird chemical, I don't want everything to get damaged and the glasses and things. Um, but again, we kind of, we thought we were going to be going back quickly. I think all the shows did. So like, these are just like, like everything is still like literally in exact place, in the exact place that I had it in my dressing room because I had done the show on Wednesday night. So this is so bizarre, but this is all my pin curling stuff. Another super sense memory thing because I'm telling you like the act of doing this, the act of doing these pin curls in this robe, twisting, grabbing a pin from that, Grabbing another vibe pin from these little blue things. Oh my God, my heart. Pin curl stuff. What else is in here? My steamer, which I totally need. Oh, my Harry Potter shirt. What's in here? Some cards. Oh my gosh. Yes, I used to respond to fan mail with these awesome cards that say, you're so French. A note from me. So 
Maybe I'll open up it. I closed my PO box in LA just so everyone knows. Don't, don't send things there anymore. Um, but maybe I'll open one here. We'll see. This was on my station as well. Oh my God. Glitter. So one time we received this glitter from Lemonhead. Also shout out Lemonhead because it's the best glitter ever. Me and Kate got this as a gift. It's the most amazing glitter ever. And we would sneakily say it was glitter Sunday on Sunday night shows if you were ever at a Sunday night show and we would um put glitter on for the last number sometimes for the whole show if we were feeling really insane um but it's like the cutest glitter there are like stars and stuff in it I don't know if you can see give me a mirror in all this crap you're telling me I don't have a mirror I'll use my phone hold on oh my god glitter Sunday this is probably gonna reflect so bad in the light but Oh, that is cute. Glitter Sunday. Oh yeah, they're like little stars. I don't know if you can see it shining in the light. Probably. I'm probably going to regret that later, but Glitter Sundays was very important to me and Kate. I'm going to send her a photo after this of Glitter Sunday. She's also going to come over, um, I think next week and kind of go through some of this with me too. I don't know what's in here. Let's see. This might be a boring video, but... It's not boring for me. This is just more makeup. We got sent so much stuff. Like I truly have like a store here of like incredible products that people would send us um, that I would get to try. Really, really feel lucky about that. Okay, let's move on to this bin. I need to speed this up. Let's see. This is my scenery bags, Mean Girls Clutch, which I love. <gasps> Phone chargers. Just again, candy. Like our, our dressing room, oh, these are my favorite Mentos, but I, there's no way these aren't hard. I love that this video is just turning into me trying food from a year ago. These are still really good Mentos. We got some lollipops, nail polish, ew, that's so dirty. G for Gretchen. Okay, stop eating. I found another coup glass, coop glass. Bob, what is this glass called? A coop? C-O-U-P-E? I don't know, whatever, this glass. We had four. See all this stuff, like I don't know if Kate's gonna want it or Ash. We need to like totally, Ash is in France right now, but. Oh, playbills, oh my gosh. This was my favorite play. When they told us they were doing this as the playbill, I was so excited. Cause I've never been, my face has never been on a playbill before. Bob, I just found your village hat. Ooh, my LaCroix hat. <gasps> hat game, no offense village. Wait, so cute. <gasps> my old sneakers. Oh, wow, this is crazy. Oh, so many clothes. You just really do accumulate things because you're like, I don't know what I'm ever gonna need at any given time. So I need to have everything at the theater because I better. Cutting boards. Again, lunch and dinner. We were We lived at the theater on the weekends, so this is just all kitchen stuff. Oh, my water bottles. What am I gonna do with all this stuff? This is why it's nice to have a dressing room. Like, what is this? Because if you don't have a dressing room, now I have to figure out where to put all this stuff in my apartment. Is this a straightener? Oh, it's a brush from Amika. Wow, that's amazing. And also that's a cute oh, thing. Okay. What's happening over here? Ashley gave me this fuzzy vest, which I'm not gonna put on right now because I'm already hot enough wearing this robe. Ooh, my script. I love that, and my makeup plot. Oh, that's a good memory. My script. Yep, all my notes are in here. Meet the plastics, what's wrong with me? Halloween, revenge, party, jerk, shirt. I'm very organized. How Gretchen of me. So then this stuff is from like in our couch, I think. And some of this stuff, I don't even know what it is because it's interesting about being a replacement is I sort of inherited half this stuff. Um, you know, because it was Ashley and Kate's, they established it and then Kate left and Kate left, you know, they, you leave the room sort of, you can take, obviously it's their stuff, but then half the time you're like, what am I going to do with this? So you end up leaving it as the decor of the room. Um, my K, somebody made me, which I love. Female and fierce. Kate got me this on my opening night. Oh, a bunch of Polaroids. Oh, there's some good ones in here. Aw. Mm, I'm going to have to post some of these. These are awesome. I love them. I'm gonna post a bunch of these. My birthday, 8-7-19. Me and Kate. Oh, these are really special. <gasps> my first snob. I posted this on my Instagram already. Me, Ash and Kate, Caprila Sunrise. Wait, can I have another sip of LaCroix and a Mento? I need a Mento break. Okay, that one was hard. I don't eat candy from a year ago, Christina. Last box is like every box. 
Oh, there's a mystery. This is when I decorated the dressing room um, as a like graduation theme when Kate had her last show. On October 3rd, 2019, we had a taco truck outside and we got these taco dresses. <laughs> I love that this is here. Thank you, Taco Bell. Christmas decorations, all this decor for when we would decorate our room. Are you guys ready for what I just found? Are you freaking ready for this? I need to like sound effect. Remember this? This little baby, for those of you that don't know the story, I went to the theater when we were packing up in March and I rescued all of our plants because I didn't want any of them to die. I left this one. Um, this plant was watered for two years in the dressing room of Karen and Gretchen's. Um, I watered him many times and Kate really took care of this like it was her own. It is her own, really. And um, I went to bring it home so I could keep it alive and I realized that it was fake. It is not real. I'm looking at it now. It's definitely glued into these rocks and this piece is almost broken so this is the cactus that Kate thought was real and we watered for two years. I cannot wait to give this back to her. It's a little bit loose right here, but this was my really highlight of my time at Mean Girls was us realizing, me realizing that that was fake. They're like really pretty. So when you leave a show, um, you really can't keep your costumes because, hold on, I'm gonna break because um, they go to your replacement. So, and if they don't go to your replacement, they go to the tour. And if they don't go to the tour, they go to an understudy. If they don't go to an understudy, they go to the non-union tour, so on and so forth. So you really don't get to keep costumes. But equity rules state, equity is our union. You can wear other people's clothes, but you can't wear other people's shoes. So we get to keep all our shoes. This is a bag full of them. You get to keep your shoes, and anything that's deemed an undergarment, because that also cannot be shared. So, I'm so excited to look in here and see all my Gretchen shoes and things. What is this? Whose is this? Okay, I ended up with a North Shore Mathletes shirt. This is definitely not mine, but I'll keep it. It has no name on it. Weird. Gretchen is definitely not a North Shore Mathlete, that's for sure. But, I'll keep it. Oh my God, my pink day shoes. Now these are absolutely destroyed. I don't know if you can actually tell the full extent of my like lunch with the plastic shoes. The amount of time Margie Ann and Carly, my dressers, had to sew these babies back together is insane. Like you can't even see it. The amount of stitching and it's patched like five billion times because these shoes got discontinued in this color. So I went from wearing these pink ones to their, like they are so destroyed, like beyond repair. And I wore them until I finally couldn't anymore because they came out with these gold ones. So they got me gold ones, but it was never the same because they were gold. They were like rose gold, but these pink suede ones are like so iconic. I'm so glad I got to keep these. Um, oh, I really love that I have these now. These are my, I had just gotten new ones of these too. These are my fearless shoes, which I love. Honestly, I'd never worn wedge sneakers until I did this show and it sort of got me addicted to them. So I'm definitely gonna be wearing these. Fearless, this is how life should feel. That was my new line that I only got to do three times. Um, but Megan will carry it on, on the road. These are my new Meet the Plastic shoes because I wore the Katy Perry shoes for a long time, but they hurt my feet so bad. They were super narrow. So um, I got these new ones. Um, I think, I'm not sure when these came around, but I thought these were really, really cute. And they kept my feet at bay. Because the thing is, is like, yeah, I can, I want to wear all the cute shoes in the entire world. And, but also like my feet have to be able to make it through eight shows a week. Um, <gasps> whose house? My Who's House shoes, I love them. Again, these ones took a long time for me to break in. Ashley used to wear these glittery ones that I really wanted, but again, out of stock, they discontinue them. But I got these, so I was jean on jean, on jean on jean. These are very cute and hurt my feet for a long time, but I got used to them. What else? Oh, my car. Oh, these are from Top of Act Two. I love these. 
They're like little cars. Which are so cute, aren't they so cute? I love them. Adorable. I love these shoes. I love all these. My taco trucks, World Burn, Taco Trio, Margarita, Zesty Nachos. That's what they say. Kate Spade shoes. These are so amazing. I love that I have these. Um, also, fun fact about Broadway is that um, shoes like this, because I had quick changes and because we didn't have time to like buckle shoes, they quick rig them. So your dresser basically, essentially, they'll buckle this and then cut it. And then they attach a piece of elastic and a little like quick rig thing. So then to to hook it, all you do is pop it in. And that's how you do a quick change um, when you quick rig heels and shoes that have straps like that. So that saved me. Spring fling. I was just about to get a new pair of these because they are destroyed. These are Jimmy Choo's and they are such a cute color. They are totally demolished. I'm so sorry, Jimmy Choo. Um, but yeah, same thing, quick rigged. Oh my God, this is so sad. Those are the shoes that I chose to, to keep. I didn't keep all of them because I'm trying to think of which ones I didn't keep. So some of them just didn't fit me well. Again, I sort of have to think like, where am I gonna put all these shoes? That's my story, my friends. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I hope you had fun um, unpacking my dressing room with me from the August Wilson. Farewell to the August Wilson and my amazing dressing room on the second floor. Um, that I shared with Kate and with Laura Lee and sort of with Ashley when she was there as well. Um, but it was just a room full of memories and even though all this stuff is really fun to look at, the memories lie within my heart. Had the greatest time there. I will never forget the time I spent in that dressing room and at that theater and I miss it every single day. And I'm so excited that Broadway's gonna be coming back and that everyone can get back to work um, and I can't wait to be on stage again. So thanks again. Um, please pass this video along to anybody who loves theater who'd be interested in this um, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like this video if you had fun. Um, and if not, it's fine. It's just my memories, you know, just my whole life here. I'm just kidding. Anyway, thanks everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye!